Hi everyone, welcome back to the 4x4 Fab Shop. And if you happen to have a welding table that doubled up as a fixturing table that has a hole pattern drilled in it like this one, I'm going to show you how to make some pretty cool clamps, not just your standard bar clamps, but all position clamps. And I'll show you a couple different types of clamps to make as well. And they all have different purposes. I've seen videos where people try to pound out the rivets. Personally, I, I, if you need a longer clamp, just buy a longer clamp. We'll start with this one. We'll get the end taken off, and I'll show you how to what we can do with the bolt. All right, so we'll start with the bar clamp. We're just gonna cut the end of it off. And while we're at it, we'll also go ahead and do the deep reach one as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these and weld them to the tip of these bolts. So we'll have to get all these bolts prepped on the end, especially if they're coated with anything. And we'll also have a deep reach clamp as well. So the easy way to prep these. Now I assume that you have a table like this to put these bolts in, otherwise you wouldn't be building this style clamps. So we're just going to go and so we're going to build one, two, three, four, five different style clamps. So we'll just quickly prep a couple bolts here and go from there. <laughs> bolts will have uh, some markings on them. You see how the markings are on the head of the bolt can cause it to sit a little cockeyed. Right, another reason to grind them. So you have a couple options. Now you can just hold it. Something that I really like that we bought at the last Fabtech is this magnet. That I can just stick it on there. You can use something like this. You can also just use the one of these 90s that you get from Harbor Freight as well. The only difference is they don't have the clearance on the bottom of them. But this square is about 20 bucks. And you can you you can use it at about any angle. And I'll put a link to this in the descriptions because this, this will make your life so much easier. Now they make one that's got the lever that releases so you can clean it every now and then. And I'm just going to throw a quick square on this. to get it up off the table a little bit so we'll throw a quick square on it to get this thing square and then tack it in place welds in and then we'll I'll show you what we'll do with the bolt here in a second the next up we've got our extension clamp and this is this one will come in nice if you got to reach over something I'll put a block under the front of it what we'll do is we'll just get a measurement here until it's where we want it so we're about three and an eighth about three and an eighth, so we're pretty good right there. Now you gotta be careful when you're tacking these because it's gonna wanna pull back and forth. And 
look at it from the side. <clears throat> Pretty good. All right, the next two. This one here I think is really gonna be slick. I think you'll like this. But next up is the vice grip. Everybody likes a vice grip. And we're just gonna cut this, cut this guy right across there. Now for this one, you can kind of see a theme here. We'll clamp this one down to here. We're going to get our little magnet here. Center it up on the bolt and then we'll, we'll take this one in place. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do with these. Alright, so next, I think you'll really like these next two. Because you never really know for sure how you're going to need your clamps. And these clamps are so inexpensive that it really makes it nice to be able to make clamps that you need, right? So on the back of these, I ground a flat on it because this material, it's very porous. So when you grind on it, you're going to see a bunch of porosity. And this stuff might not weld the best. So what we do is we're just going to go through and just make sure that it's in the. I'm just going to make sure that it's where I want it. And I think you guys will like these clamps once you see how I'm going to use them. Now this one I would like at a 45.
All right, so if you get one that's a little tight, you can take some area paper or sandpaper and just run it around it. All right, and they'll fit right in there. All right, so let's go through these clamps we built. So we have the standard one here. It goes in. It's a nice bar clamp when you're welding stuff. All right, push it down, lock it. You can hold stuff together. And these are only about $3 for the clamp. The bolt's about 70 cents. So you're really not into it. Four or five bucks at max. 20 or 30 bucks if you buy them anyplace else. And then the vice grip one, it can be just by anything. Right? So just like a typical vice grip, you have your stuff you want clamp to the table, line it all up, lock it in place. It operates just like a normal vice grip. Now these, I think these are five or six dollars for the vice grip. Once again, 70 cents for the bolt. And you can use any kind of vice grip if you got the big, the big tong ones if you want. All right, so if you want to use a vice grip like this, it just you'd just be cutting the one jaw off, welding a bolt onto it, and that's it. All right, so the other one is if you got something you have to reach inside of something. So let's say what I've got to weld is in the center of this bin. So I can slide it in, I can clamp, I can weld what I need to weld. It's real easy. And the two that I really like, something that came up with, if you have something that you have to weld at an odd angle, this is a finger break we made for our, our custom bender. This way, it sets up on an angle, and I can just go through and weld it real easy. And you can build these at any angle. Just take you one of their clamps and a bolt, and you decide what angle it needs to go at. And then if you have a piece you, you're doing some work on, you need to set it up. But it, this one will hold it in place as well. It makes for a great work holder just to where it is. From here, you can clamp something else on, or if you're trying to do some work in this area, you need it at a, a different height. Even if it's something as simple as you're welding something, and I need to rest my arm on for something. This works out good for that as well. Let's run up to Harbor Freight, get some clamps and some half inch bolts, and you can create them for a fraction of the price. So hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in one of these other videos that pop up here. It's been another edition of the 4x4 Fab Shop.